Good morning folks, this is a brief ROM review of my Galaxy S3. This is a Resurrection Remix ROM 3.1.4 that is based on Android 4.2.1. I had earlier done a ROM review for 3.1.3 which was the first version of it and there was many bugs in it. And the developer, the script, uh, recognized when you launch a new update. This is the feature which you say this ROM has. I won't we'll say much about it. Okay, in this latest 3.14 in 4 update, you get Bluetooth. Uh, some feature which is not working in 3.1.3 is Bluetooth. You, uh, the camera is crashing, and now it's included Bluetooth. Multi user has been added. You get some issues of root has been uh, fixed. Okay, that's just about it. Uh, just show you the how it appears on my S3. There you go. Something on the S3. Uh, 4.2.1, the first major change if you see it's a lock screen. Earlier if you put your finger on the circle, you swipe it to the left, you go directly to the camera. But that option is not there. Now, if you swipe from the left, from the right to the left of the screen, you go to camera directly. And you can see the new 4.2 camera interface. Pretty simple. Click it, take a photo, swipe to the right. From right to left, you get, go to the gallery, which is the what is say is the film strip view. Uh, some of the comics which I took, and to delete the photo, just swipe up. Undo, or you can swipe down. That's how you <coughs> delete a photo. Click on the picture. There's a built-in photo gallery, a photo editor in the gallery now. If you click it, it goes to the options. You can do Instagram type of effects. You can put a wall or something around it. You can crop, straighten, rotate it. You can click save and you can directly share from here. <coughs> Sorry, options. Sorry. Pretty neat, I think. Now that's how you go to the camera. Uh, the interface is very minimalistic. Swipe down, this is the settings over here, you can see it may have a pixel camera. Swipe up, this is how you switch to the reverse camera, I mean front facing camera. That's me. And a small bug in this phone is she pitches size 1.3 megapixel. I don't know why it doesn't come 2 megapixel. While most of the other ROMs uh, shows the front megapixel as 2. And you swipe up. There's one more feature now there is the photosphere. I never used it, so not too much interested in it. This is the video here, same option. Reverse camera, settings. You get these three settings 1080p, ST480, and HD 720p. Okay, and now this is lock screen again. Yeah, you swipe to the r left to right, you get an option to add widgets. You can add countless amount of widgets. It comes with five standard widgets. One is the messaging, the Gmail, the calendar, you know. The rest all I just installed it myself. Uh, you, I've installed the clean widgets, uh, HD widgets. You can add beautiful widgets. It'll come automatically. Torch. Whatever you want, you can add in the lock screen so that you can directly access the information from here itself, rather than going into the application. Uh, that's one thing I never understood. What's the point of it? So it doesn't make any sense for me. That's how you keep add widgets to the lock screen. And to do this, just tap and hold. Swipe up. Sorry. Yeah, let's just see about it. Okay, another major change is the notification chamber. As you know, uh, this used to be the earlier notification, very clean interface for uh, Google Notification Center. But this one, and you can see the cool in, uh, animation for this. Now you get an option of a hidden notification secondary that shows you the major details of the phone. This is the owner part, this is the brightness toggle. Uh, you can go directly to settings from here. Go to the settings, click on about phone, you can see Android 4.2.1, GTI 9300, 
build number 3.1.4 and if you check the hardware information here it contains the quad core processor 400 mp uh, gpu 833 mp ram gb rear is 8 and front megapixel is 2.0 now showing the lock screen i mean showing the notification chamber you can do a one finger swipe for getting the normal one and you can do a two finger gesture for going all this and you can completely personalize this at whatever you want you cl click on this wi-fi gets on you click on this the 3g gets on bluetooth Um, that, uh, this is a sh quick shortcuts Google implementation. I feel it's much better than the Samsung and HTC one because the new generation of Samsung and HTC it simply clutters it. Too many things. It makes it look very busy. This one is a very good interpretation. Like I said, two finger for getting the quick notification or you can click this or just one finger swipe and then clicking on that button. Um, I'm running the next, next launcher. And the next launch, another major change is the keyboard. <coughs> keyboard, if you see, uh, this is a Swift Key Flow keyboard. It's very similar to that of this Google Stock Android one. I'm not doing a Swift Key today. Okay, this is how it appears. It appears as normal. You can just keep up typing, ta 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 ta. It's very fast. In one feature they have copied from swipe is the gesture. We call it the gesture search. I don't know why it's not coming for this. I think it's kind of some kind of bug. It's not accepting at all. As you can see the effect, you can just gesture swipe it. That's one option they added for this. And another major change in this phone for 2.2 point, <coughs> two point uh, I mean Android 4.2.1 one thing I don't like about it is the naming feature of it. They could have easily called it Android 3.2.1 of or Resurrection Remix 4.2.1 to avoid the confusion. I was like you'll think it's a mind update from 3.1.2 which was Android 4.1.2. Okay, and another thing, this is all you get uh, new which comes with this ROM device options, resurrection updater, ROM control. Then you can do a slight little modifications. Mm, yeah, you get this multiple user now. You can add users, and it's like like your computer, your desktop. You personalize it. Who wants to use it? But I don't understand you, whether you're gonna give your phone to your friends. Features doesn't make any sense for me. Though it might make sense for a lot of people. And add another user. Add another email ID and his settings. You can see. You share your device with other users. Own workspace. Customize your own apps, wallpapers, so on. Not for me. And the last major change is go to display. Um, you get option for daydream. It's like a screensaver. Uh, you can click on any of these options. Click what you want to appear. Digital clock. And went to daydream is when charging or docked. So when you put this on charge or dock, this will appear on this. This will appear on the screen as a screen server what you have in your windows laptop pretty neat feature good thought by google okay one thing i like about the resurrection rom it's a very small clean rom just 373 mb big and you don't get any of the crap apps which is not little like google plus nothing uh it's with this you get samsung app store a paper artist I wish they would have given the Samsung video player as well because it's undoubtedly the best video player in the Android market. Um, do I find any flaws in it? Till now, no. Uh, it's slow because I've installed the 3D based, uh, 3D based next launcher. Otherwise, it's fine, working fine. I'm using it as my daily driver at the moment. Um, yeah, like I said, bugs is the camera is showing 1.3, though in the setting it's showing 2.0. And that's just about it. I would have preferred a few more Samsung features instead of paper artists, maybe they could have given a video player. Okay, that's just about it. Till then, have a nice day. And oh, yeah, and you get a few wallpapers if you want, you can add all them. Cheers.